Yes, 248. Um, pay no attention. <laughs> <clears throat> We're finishing Ezekiel. Because, honestly, we don't have much more to go. <clears throat> Glor God's glory return. Oh, wait, I already read that one. Um, the great altar restored. These are the measurements of the altar in long cubits, long cubits, that is about 21 inches, or about 53 centimeters, also in verses 14 and 17. The long cubit is, a, is the basic unit for the linear year measurement throughout Ezekiel 40 through 48. That cubit beginning a cube being a cubit and a hand breadth. Its gutter is a is a d is a cubit deep and a cubit wide with a rim of one span. That is about eleven inches, or about twenty seven centimeters. Ooh. around the edge and it's the and is this is the height of the altar <coughs> from one gutter to on the ground up to the lower edge <coughs> that goes around the altar it is is two cubits high and the ledge is a cubit wide with another knot does that look okay Here's K. That's about three and a half feet high, or one and three quarter, and one and three fourths feet wide, or about 105 centimeters high, or 50, no, and 53 centimeters wide. Ugh. It's not even. Do I even read okay? Yeah. Oh, no, okay, apply to 17 and 13. Okay. Back to 15. From this lower ledge to the upper ledge that goes around the altar, it is four cubits high, and that ledge is also one also a cubit wide that is about seven feet high or one and three quarters feet wide or two point one meters and fifty three centimeters wide or one two point two meters high but the <coughs> yes Okay, above that, the altar for, but yeah, above that, the altar is four cubits high, and four horns project uh, upward from the hearth. The altar, no, the hearth is a square, 12 cubits, that is about 21 feet high, or no, 21 feet, or... 6.4 meters. Okay. Long and 12 cubits wide. The upper ledge is also a square, 14 cubits. That is about 25 feet or about 7.4 meters. Long and 14 cubits wide. All around the altar is a gutter of 1 cubit with a rim of a of half a cubit. That's the same no K if I don't think you forgot what no K was. But for some reason it feels like it needs to tell you again. Even though it doesn't work.
other things. But you know what that is about 11 inches or about 23 centimeters. There. The steps of the altar face east. Then he said to me, Son of man, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. This will be the regulations for the no, for sacrificing burnt offerings and splashing blood against the altar when it is built. <clears throat> you are to give a young bull as a sin offering, or purification offering, to the Levitical priest of the family of Zadok, Z-A-D-O-K, who come near to minister before me, declares the Sovereign Lord. <coughs> you are to take some of its blood and put it on, on the four horns of the altar and on the four corners of the upper ledge and all around the rim. And so purify the altar and make an and make atonement for it. <coughs> you are to take the bowl for the sin offering and burn it in the it in the the syndic part of the temple. Of the desegregated, yeah, part of the temple outside the sanctuary. I think that's what's the worst. It's not even night, and I'm on the second day. You are to offer a male goat without defect for a sin offering, and the altar is to be purified as it was purified with the bull. When you have finished purifying it, you are to offer a young bull and a ram from the flock, both without defect, you are to offer them both uh, to, to offer them before the Lord, and the priests are to sprinkle the salt on them. No, sprinkle salt, there's no, the... <clears throat> are to sprinkle salt on them, and sacrifice them as burnt offerings to the Lord. For seven days you are to provide a male goat Daily for a sin offering, or purification offering. You are also to provide a young bull and a ram from the flock, both without defect. For seven days you are to make atonement for the altar and cleanse it, so thus they will dedicate it. At, that, at the end of those days, from the eighth day on, the priest are to present your burnt offerings and fellowship offerings on the altar, then you, I will accept you, declares the Sovereign Lord. <coughs>